Yeah. Talking to the head coach, Otto Rodemaker, and coach, the season is two days away now, and I know you're looking forward towards it, so once again, tell us about this team this season so far, what you're seeing. You know, I'm really excited about our girls this year. I think that uh, our scrimmage against Madonna was, uh, it was a very good for us to experiment with our new double low post offense, so it was nice to see us get a lot of uh, opportunities in the paint, as well as our perimeter kids step up and, and make some outside shots. So. I think uh, the issue last year was being a lot of offensive output, and I think being able to put the kind of points that we did on the board uh, that first night out was, was great and something to build on. Uh, then we did have a scrimmage, closed door scrimmage. I thought that went really well. Uh, we do still have a lot to work on, but I just, I really love our team. I love our leadership and I love our new kids. And I think that we are very talented in every area. And we just have to make sure that we put it all together uh, Friday right around like 8 o'clock. Coach, what, what do you, you and your coaching staff get out of a close scrimmage as opposed to a regular uh, exhibition game? You know, I think it's just more intimate and we're able to just kind of take out all the distractions and it's just us and it's just them and we're able to blow our whistle if we need to and we kind of can walk around the court and it's just kind of an informal game and we're able to play a lot of players as well um, and kind of change offenses and defenses and just have it not count. So we can more of an experimental scrimmage, but you know, we, we definitely want to win and wanted to win, so we put our best foot forward and really try to. So um, I just think we had a lot of great things to come out of it, but of course a lot of things that we need to work on. Uh, but I think that our girls are mentally ready to go and to uh, get on that bus and just kind of see where all this practice has taken us. When you talk about the team this year, I mean, it's a very mixed group, you know, some uh, some youth and some veterans. Uh, two senior starters back at the guard position, I mean, that's going to be a key for any team. It really is. I mean, Lauren and Jaleesa, they just, they make me sleep well at nighttime knowing that they're going to be able to handle the ball and they just have been out there uh, for four years straight and I just, I'm very excited to have them. I just know, I have all the confidence in the world that they're going to make great decisions, they're going to handle the ball, they're going to get the ball where it needs to be and they're also going to be able to direct those younger kids on the court. So it's a real luxury to have those two kids. Uh, you know, even with the addition of Chanel, she is a newcomer, but she's also a junior who has played. Uh, so she's an upperclassman that I rely on a lot too, as well as Yar Shayak being another upperclassman that's gotten a lot of uh, minutes in our program. So I just really think the experience and the leadership from those kids uh, is just been a, a real luxury. Coach, you mentioned it, uh, Chanel Putnam, after transferring last year, she had to sit out. What does she bring to this team after what you saw in practice last year? You know what, she's just, she's the energizer bunny. She just keeps on going and she does everything that I've ever told her uh, to do. And she does it with a big old smile on her face. We could tell her to run 100 miles and then squat 8,000 pounds and she would just be like, okay. So um, it's just such a joy to coach that kind of kid. But on the flip side, she is very talented. So it's kind of like she doesn't really even know how talented she is, which is uh, the full package for me. She wants to push the ball, she can shoot the ball, she's a great passer, and we're just really excited that she's eligible this year. A couple more guards you have in the team is our junior Demisha Fambro, who has looked uh, great in practice so far, and sophomores in this year, and they say sometimes the best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores, and she too has looked very aggressive in practice, hitting shots. Well, that's the thing. Um, we Those two kids, they are instant offense coming off the bench. They have never met a shot that they didn't like, and they are ready to go right to the rim uh, because that is their job. That is what we're looking for them to do, to come in and be offensive sparks off the bench. So I've seen a great improvement uh, with Demisha. She is in the best shape she's ever been in. She's able to get up and down. She has a better understanding about defense. And with Sine, I mean, Sine's in here all the time. You walk into Callahan at any hour, she is in here shooting. Um, so it's very, very um, promising to have those kind of kids come off just ready to shoot the ball like we need them to. Then we're talking about your front court. Obviously, everyone knows that Junior Shayok, Yar Shayok returning. She's a preseason all-league selection. But she has some help down low this year. You recruited some uh, big ladies to go in there and, and bang in there. And 6'2", Bree Wilcox and Juliana Glanz is back, as well as Another freshman is Sharita Brown. So down low looks very strong for the Titans this year. You know, it's exciting. And I know I just look back and I, I feel really bad for the amount of pressure that we put on Yar for the last couple of years. She's had to do everything. She's had to rebound. She's had to defend 
uh, All-American Post players and play 40 minutes because some of the players that we had weren't necessarily ready uh, to compete at the Division One level. So I really am in, in amazement at what Yar did for our program these last few years, and it's just really nice to be able to bring in players that can help us right away. And then the ones that were here have really improved over the summer. Um, we've also moved positions, like Megan Hatter went from uh, a perimeter kid to a post player, and she's doing a great job in that capacity. So uh, just really excited to have so much depth in the post and, and to be able to give her a break and, and actually allow her to do some of the things that she's able to do that she hasn't been able to do in the past. I know you're looking for, you know, really all your freshmen this year, all your players to really, you know, provide a spark at some point. But one of the freshmen who really stepped up and had a huge game in the exhibition was Sharita Brown. I mean, you know, you, you said she's going to be a good player. I, she is a good player already. So just tell us about her game and just really what she's going to mean to the team. Sharita is just, she's just somebody that's so nice to have on that block because she just finishes with such a degree of accuracy. And her presence in the paint is just, you you can't really do a whole lot with her. Um, she aggressively goes after her rebounds. She's got a great touch around the basket. She can even shoot threes when she wants to. So she's an excellent complement uh, with Yar. Um, so she's just, and, and the thing is she's a great kid. She's a great kid. She's one of those uh, yes coach, no coach, and she is running uh, at times, like in our practices, she's keeping up with Yar, so uh, when her conditioning just gets where exactly where it needs to be, she's going to be, uh, she's going to be a force to contend with no matter who we're playing. And coach, obviously opening season this Friday, the preseason WNIT at Indiana State. Indiana State's a very tough team, they're picked to finish fifth in MVC, but last year they were 11-4 at home, they have a lot of uh, letter winners coming back, so it looks like it's really tough game. Uh, when you look at the marquee uh, names on the Titan schedule, Indiana State may not jump out, but they're as tough as any of them. Oh, they are, and they do a great job with their uh, fans down at Terre Haute. They have, they average three to 4,000 people a game, so I mean, that is an environment that we are kind of used to when we go up to Green Bay, so hopefully that won't be too much of an issue, but I will tell you that we played them a couple of years ago down at Indiana State on a home and home, and Shannon Thomas really had a game against us, and I think Yara was maybe just even a freshman back then. So um, we did not win, obviously, down there, but I know that we're looking forward to getting back down there again now that we have more uh, depth in the post. And, of course, Bridge did have some threes down there that she was able to help us out a couple years ago, but I feel like we have the perimeters that can push the ball and shoot uh, this year to compete with them and, and they've done a great job. They they really um, typical Indiana The perimeters can all shoot threes as well as the post so I think that it's going to be a great game on both ends